Okay, everyone, here we are again with some old booster packs. Uh, I've got six of these. Let's get it going here before my scanner takes a dump again. It's having trouble connecting. So we want to use it and see what we get out of these packs. So let's go. Package judgment is first. All right. Got a warthog. Border Patrol, Fire Beast, Bark Ripper, Fog Bringer, very cool. Folk Medicine. Is that a D20? Nope, it's a cube. You're splitting rats. Lava Dart. Okay, we got Ancestors Chosen for Uncommons. Got a Wonder. Let me move this stuff over. Swelter. And the rare is Jessica, Warrior Adept. For four, she's a 3-1 Barbarian Legend with First Strike and Haste. You can tap her. She deals one damage to target creature or player. Pretty middling at best, I guess. Let's see if we can get it to scan. There we go. 552, better than middling for Judgment, I suppose. So there we go. Next up, Homelands. Let's get a didgeridoo. Going crazy in price right now and uh, whoever thought there would be a homelands card worth more than 30 bucks ever prophecy so I'm not sure what the rare would be trade caravan sing your bats dry spell anaba bodyguard feast of the unicorn Anaba Ancestor and an Orcish Mine. So, which one was the rare? I always have trouble. Would it have been this prophecy? It might be an uncommon, the slightly more rare uncommon. That's just a common. So, the mine, that's an uncommon. Ancestor, that says it's a rare. 95 cents for the Anaba Ancestor. Typical. Homelands experience right there. All right, let's go. Okay, Alliance is next. Another one that the rare is tricky to spot. Unless it happens to be a good one. Lundul's Paladin, that may be an uncommon. Let me, yep, let's do that and see if we can figure these out. I don't think the advocate is spiny starfish. Keeper of Treasure Horn, that should be the rare. Um, let's see, for six, it's a six six. If Keeper of Treasure Horn attacks and is not blocked, it deals no damage to defending player this turn, and that player loses two life. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. I think that's a reserveless card. Sixty cents though is all you get for it. The legacy Barchild's Crusader. Some war makers. Martyrdom, Adnate, Insidious Bookworms, Elvish Ranger, the best art you possibly get out of this set. Benthic Explorers right there. All right, let's move on to Onslaught. Uh, I have still not pulled a fetch land out of my Onslaught box that I'm working out of here. So come on, let's do it. All right, get some commons. Got a healer, a sledder, a goblin sledder, crown of ascension, guidance, wretched onurid. It's pretty wretched, all right. Pit mage, got a tranquil thicket. All right, uncommons, threaten, run wild, feeding frenzy, grand melee. For four, it's an enchantment. All creatures attack each turn if able, and they block each turn if able. I think it's sees a little bit of play. It's a dollar. There we go. All right, let's move on to Weatherlight. Let's hope for something good out of this and the next pack. Agonizing Memories. I believe these are going to be on commons right here. Abduction. Volunteer Reserves and the Rare. Call of the Wild, is that a rare? 
Sure enough, 50 cents for an enchantment for four. You can pay four to reveal the top card of your library to all players. If that card is a creature card, put it into play, otherwise bury it. I think it's been reprinted in like sixth edition. It's not so great. Tendrils of Despair, very nice. We'll look at the art at least. Ballista. Fit of Rage. Gatekeeper, this guy was creeping me out. Betrayal to Fire, Haunting Misery, Apathy, and a Falcon. There we go. Those are not uncommons, but at this point, who cares? <laughs> Stronghold. <clears throat> Let's do it. Oh, there we go. That's a good card right off the bat. It's an uncommon. Crystalline Sliver. Uh, one of my favorite cards of all time because I used to play slivers. And this was the thing that would keep you in the game. All as long as possible. Slivers cannot be the target of spells or really. That's a pretty good hit for an uncommon. Six bucks. I'll pull that one. Mog Maniac. Bottomless Pit. And the rare Mog Infestation for five. It's a sorcery. Destroy all creatures. Target player controls. For each creature put into any graveyard in this way. Put two goblin tokens into play under that player's control. Treat these tokens as one one red creatures. Pretty good board wipe. Except for the goblin issue. Six bucks. All right. Some cool art on the comments here. Check that out. Finish it off. Spike Colony. There we go. All right. That was that. Short video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.